What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. We are out here on the water. We are in a different boat though this time. I'm actually out here, Brandon and I, he's behind the camera right now. Um, we're out here in my Lund. I uh, unwinterized it, which means it's pretty much officially spring for us. Um, that means we are full board going on spring. We got the boat all ready and we are out here today on the Fox River. Gonna be using some live scope. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm scanning around on one of these flats trying to see locate walleyes up here and guys there's quite a few fish out here using live scope today guys to find locate shallow water walleyes we're in five to ten feet of water and yeah not sure exactly what we're going to be throwing throughout the day but that's pretty much the game plan find fish with side scan sit down on them use the live scope to actually target them and then cast on them and catch a whole lot of walleyes hopefully so stay tuned for that we are sitting in about seven or eight feet of water right now and as nick pans it to the side we're going through looking at about 20 to 30 feet away sometimes 40 50 feet away these little pods of fish that are popping up again we saw them on the side scan and now we're just going through looking for each of these individual marks some of them are suspended some of them are tucked tight to bottom typically the ones that are tucked tight to bottom are going to be your walleyes there are a lot of white fish and stuff like that that sit suspended in here but walleyes will still sit suspended a little bit a foot or two off of bottom so like that there's a nice group of fish that's only 25 30 feet away that we can cast on so what do you think yeah we should get the long rods out and probably target some fish yeah guys the weather today was shaping up to be a good one but uh now that we're actually down here in the green bay area it's not sunny it's kind of windy and it's kind of cold i'm not gonna lie thankfully though we are blessed to be wearing quite a bit of good gear so i'm gonna go ahead turn around on brandon here and have him explain just something that really keeps us warm on these really cold spring days really all winter long but what do you got on brandon yeah before we get started here uh one of the things we like to wear one of the things we wanted to talk about with you guys is tide we make some really nice warm stuff it doesn't really matter what type of application of being out in the outdoors that you like to do whether it's fishing camping hunting kayaking i mean anything it's cold it's spring we just got through winter so right now underneath my camera and my jacket and my bibs you can tell i got my tide wee vest on if i go ahead and scooch that out of the way and uh well I'll tell you what, what? This? oh this is heated you like that so basically underneath here i'm not going to go ahead and get all completely undressed right now but you guys can get vests jackets stuff like that it's going to keep you warm it's all heated different heat settings low medium high lasts anywhere from about three or four hours on high all the way up to about 10 hours on low which is really nice so if you just want to warm up bulk up on some clothes but you want something that's heated keep your core warm i've been rocking this heated vest all winter and now all spring and it's kept me really really warm um, it just comes with a small little battery pack that you plug in you can charge it you know universally which is really nice so uh, definitely check them out we're gonna have everything linked down below as to what we use today uh, definitely check out the tide we site because they've got good boots uh, they've got jackets, they've got vests, they've got gloves. If you're looking for a, a pair of waders, I mean, literally anything that you could be looking for, heated, good quality, and affordable. That's the biggest thing. So, well, a great company that we work with. We're actually both rocking the boots. You guys have seen us rock these before. Keeps us warm. Let's go ahead and uh, let's catch some fish, shall we? Fish of the day. First fish actually on the hair jig. This is something that we have not thrown really much at all, but at all this year I have not tied on a hair jig and I don't know, probably fourth cast with it. Got ourselves a nice decent walleye. Felt him pick that one up off the bottom. That's a nice fish. It's a good starter fish. Job. All right, guys. Well, first one of the day. Not a very big one. Probably only like a, I don't know, 17 inch fish. We can see it's got that hair jig right in the top. Must have pinned it to the bottom, honestly. But that's all it is. Purple, 
and uh, some red and a little bit of gold. It shows up more of like a brown tint in this water, um, which is kind of what you want. More natural approach with the hair jig. You're working it really, really slow. I can talk about that in a little bit, but first fish, get a release on him right away. Thanks, buddy. Uh, to be more specific, I can show you guys actually. This I got at Swamp Donkey Shack. This is on the fly tackle hair jigs. Our buddy Sweary actually has been using these for quite some time. Um, and now they're at the Donkey Shack. So if you guys want to pick up some, these are custom fly hair jigs. And uh, they got a lot of colors, but like I said, I like to stick to like the purples, the blacks, the browns, stuff like that. Cause you're working them really, really slow. But that's what the first one came on. Brandon actually already did catch one on his very first cast. We didn't even have the cameras out. We pulled up to a spot next to our buddy Cody. First one of the day, I'm going to uh, get the GoPro back rolling and hopefully get a whole pile of fish. All right, gonna be taking a cast right after that last one. Show you guys how I'm working this hair jig, just in case if you've never ran one. I don't do it a ton, but you're usually using it when the water is really, really cold. So the biggest thing you're gonna to wanna to think of when the water's really cold is to work it slow. So I just cast it out there. When it's on the bottom, you're just gonna reel down and I'm talking four inch pops at most, and then you're gonna let it sit for three, four seconds. Reel up, little pop. Reel up, little pop. It's gonna take you a while to work your whole cast, but what you're doing essentially is you're literally just hopping that thing and then sitting, and then hopping and sitting. So a lot of the times those fish will be swimming, they'll see it, they'll react quick, and then they'll pin it to the bottom. And that's when usually they'll pick it up and you'll give it to them but we got a pile of fish around us so hopefully it won't be too long before we get hooked up there we go that one hammered it absolutely throttled it There we go. Nice. That one must have swiped it at all weird. Got him underneath the gills. Thought it was a lot bigger than what it was because I was dragging him in kind of funny like this to the water. But second fish of the day. Missed one other one. But uh, yeah, nice quality fish. Not gonna get the big camera out. Just get them back right away. See ya, buddy. All right, well. Thanks, Brandon, for the rod. Get it back out there. If I take a if I go over the live scope here, you guys can see. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but there's a decent amount of fish over here, really shallow, like six to eight feet of water that we're casting on. And I don't know, it's taken a little bit for them to bite, but when they do, they, they throttle it. There you go. That's a hook set right there. I'm gonna hammer it. Yeah, I did. Holy cow. Feels heavy though. It's a lot. Oh, that's right. It's the right species. Feisty little guy. Oh, there you go. Another one on the hair. Another quality, nice fish. Get a release. See you, buddy. Again, this is the hair jig I'm using. Not using anything with it. No middle, no nothing. Just a straight up hair jig from the package. Working it real slow. Oh, that one hammered it again. one no he's pretty much right here it's a good fish came up and ate it right as I lifted it oh come back there we go <laughs> let's go that is awesome to see all right go ahead pull him out of the net not a giant by any means but 
nice fish for me here. It's the first fish that you guys are gonna see. It's my second fish of the day. Again, as Nick was saying, first fish that I hooked into was on my very first cast. We actually just pulled up on the spot and uh, tossed that old blade bait out there. But hey, another nice fish. We're gonna go ahead, send them back, and I'll show you guys my setup. See you later, buddy. So what I got running here, this is the same thing that I was running last time I was out here. Blade bait, you know, as things start to warm up down here and we get a little bit closer to the actual spawn, you can start being a little bit more aggressive with your presentation, but right now, four to six inch hops, just real slow hops across the bottom. That's all you need. And I mean, your rod tip's just barely coming up. You don't wanna rush that bait right across the fish's face because it's it's a reaction bait. But if they're not lively enough right now to go and start chasing baits like that, you basically just want it to flash right across their face. They're gonna come up and just grab it. They're not running around chasing these things. Right. Picked it up right away. God, that one hit like at the end of my cast, so it's a century away. Yeah, you're way out there. It's all right, get a little bit of fight in them. Not a very big guy. Might be able to bow flip. Give me one bow flip for the year. Here we go. All right. Go. Yeah. Oh First bow flip. <laughs> smallest one of the day that one engulfed it it hit literally as far as my cast went another nice quality why this is getting fun yeah definitely more wind coming through here come on fish just do something for us get sassy that sounds awful there we go. They got sassy. Ooh, he's got some fight in him. He's just hooked funny. There we go. Another one on the blade, switched colors, moved out just a little bit deeper and got ourselves another one. There's the blade bait I switched to. As you can tell, it's white with a little gold rim to it. A little bit of a neon yellow kind of color going through the center there, the black speckles. There's the walleye, nothing too crazy, but nice little guy. We'll go ahead, get him back. We'll see you later. How hard is it? You did catch one more, but like one more decent one. <laughs> You just gotta yell at him. Yeah. Just gotta yell at him, man. <laughs> one more decent one, I say. You hit it pretty hard. He was pretty good. Fighting hard. Another fish bites the dust on the old hair jig. Guys, I am very impressed. Like I said in the beginning of this, I have not used a hair jig a lot. When I walleye fish really in general, let alone out on the Fox River. And it's been the bait of choice with how early we've gotten out here and how cold the water is. It is a super awesome technique to learn in this really cold water, which I haven't done a whole lot, but you know, we're learning as we go, and uh, yeah, catching fish. This might be the last fish of this video, not of the day, only because we are gonna be out here all day, but we've been out here in the same exact spot for like five hours now. Um, so I think we're gonna head back in, get some lunch, maybe A&W, always a classic when you're down here in the De Pere area, and then we're gonna head back out and then plan to film more videos for you guys. So probably, like I said, last fish of the day, but it was pretty decent. Lots of fish around the area. It was a little hard to get them to bite. I think this is like the sixth or seventh fish I've caught today, and I missed a few. 
but overall really fun just to get out here that guy right away really fun to get out here i mean it is the first week of march i think it is march 5th i believe i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but i don't know the time you see this it won't be march 5th but i, I believe it's either way first of march really early got the boat out first of the year expect a lot more videos out of the lund now that it is fully rigged out and uh unwinterized it's i guess officially spring now that i've done that so expect a lot of videos out of the lund like i said we're heading in so if you guys enjoyed today's video and you're looking forward to more walleye content make sure you guys like the video subscribe if you guys are new leave a comment down below any questions you guys have for us regarding what we use today the technique the line the reels the poles the, anything you guys have leave it down in the comment section below but yeah that's all i got i'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna head on in i will catch you guys on the next one tight lines from nb edits <laughs>